Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's Simsbury Community Television broadcast of Simsbury Trojan Football. It is November 21st, and we're out here high above Holden Field getting ready for tonight's big matchup between the A Avon Falcons and the Simsbury Trojans. And here come the Simsbury Trojans. Here come the Trojans. Folks, it's senior night here tonight. For the cheerleaders, the band members, and the players alike, the players and the students will be out there with their families, their parents, uh, celebrating Welcome senior night. To Tuesday night, Trojan football for the second annual Valley Gridiron Classic between your Simsbury High School Trojans and the Falcons of Avon High School. That's Michael Hunter, the voice of the Trojans football program. He'll be orchestrating the senior night festivities, bringing you the action at SCTV. By Sal Santorino. Is our crew. High School Trojans are coached by head coach Dave Masters. So we're in for an exciting night. I'll do a little update on the game after we get done with this, the um, Senior night. Senior night, because what they'll do, Bryce, they'll give them time to warm up a little bit again. Yeah, sure. So, folks, bring you the action tonight. Our MVP of SCTV, Patrick P. Mac McCarthy, as I like to call him affectionately, P. Mac. P. Mac, thanks for getting all the equipment setting up and uh, filled in for me today at the station, and I couldn't have done it without him. Pat, thank you very much. He's a cameraman extraordinaire, and he is just the best uh, assistant or, or co-producer co that I've had. With me tonight is my brother Brian, back from his Florida sabbatical, where he missed the Glastonbury game. And uh, he's back, though, for tonight's last game. Brian, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to make the last one. Absolutely, Brian. It's the Avon one. It's a good one. Filling in for Tom Tansky tonight, a SCTV alum at SCT, uh, Simsbury High School alum, Troy Coombs. Troy, Great fresh in here. from Boston. Thanks for coming out and filling in. It's a beautiful night for football. Troy, you've done a couple hoop games and a couple football games. Mm -hmm. Probably more than a couple hoop games. So good. We're going to have some fun tonight. Tom Tansky uh, had a late business meeting. It's an early start here, November 21st. It's about 6.15 right now. Kickoff was supposed to be 6.30. But well, that'll probably be a little late. So 618 right now. Yeah, they, they have 18 on the clock and haven't started that yet. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it looks like the seniors are getting ready to come out. This is uh, game 10, the last game of the 2016 season for our Trojans. It's the sixth home game of the year. We'll talk about that later. Senior night at Trojan Football. We'd like to take this time to honor our graduating seniors, the cheerleaders, the bands, our team manager, and our senior football players. There's Pat getting in on the first grouping of parents with their, their students. Looks like cheerleaders are first there. Up first, senior Kaya Renault, escorted by her dad, Scott Renault. All right, there's the first senior honoree. Our cheerleader captain, Sophie Hyatt, escorted by her mom, Pat Hyatt, and stepdad, Steve Repka. There's my old neighbor, the Repkas there. Our second Sophie Hyatt. Trojan cheerleader captain, Emily Lott. La Cherie, escorted by her parents, Dana and Henry La Cherie. Tough one. How's it going? Good to see you. Good, good. Thanks for coming out. The band seniors, Jalen McDavid, escorted by his parents, Michelle and Christopher McDavid. Yeah, Pat McCarthy's cheering as his son was a band member last year, and I remember Pat was out there. Exactly, Pat and Aaron out there. <laughs> I did the camera, Pat. Jay, Jay and Dennis are friends, of course. Sarah Riso, escorted by her parents, Chris and Patty Riso. Sarah Riso. 
our senior drum major, Ben, the fire starter, Pyro, escorted by his parents, <laughs> David and Tracy Pyro. All right. Pat, get, I guess when the players go, we can get them going Maybe through that gauntlet. It's pretty neat, our, isn't it? How they kind of walk through. Nicole Demersky, escorted by her sister, Christine Demersky. And Mark Demersky. And Father Mark Demersky. He class of 78. Oh, I know him, yeah. yeah. Now, your Simsbury Trojan football senior. Old buddy of mine Let's from high school. With number 87, tight end, Connor Ahrens. All right. Number yeah. Ahrens, Sue and Craig Ahrens. There's the C train. Known him since he was the size of a football. Number 58, <laughs> linebacker, Nick Alibrio. Escorted by his parents, Jennifer and Michael Alibrio. Defensive back, number 24, Neil Arango, escorted by his mother, Nayako Arango. Yeah, and Miles big, Arango. Yeah, big Neil. I'm going to give a gratuitous little shout out to all my hoop guys. Number Neil's one of them, Connor's one. Tyler Clark, escorted by his parents, Joanne and Bob Clark. Troy, I think it's a record to share. Recent memories in 10 years that I've been doing this is uh, there's about six or seven players. football players. Oh, I mean, uh, basketball yeah. players on the football team. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to count them right on now. On the offense and defensive line. And they're all pretty good in football. Poor, Big contributors. Definitely, Brian. And Emma Core. Definitely. They all get PT. Yeah, a lot. At wide receiver, number 85, Danny Dietz. Escorted by his parents. Yeah. Chris I saw Danny score a touchdown. Yes, he did against Enfield. Yeah. He had a nice touchdown catch. Yep, that young man, Troy, had open heart. He had a heart transplant 14 months ago. And he's out catching footballs here running across the field. Running back, Dylan Karachi, escorted by his parents, Monica and Gary Karachi. All right, Dylan. At linebacker, number 62, Nick Gugliotti, escorted by his parents, Tanya and Mike Gugliotti. There's the Googs. Nick, along with his parents, Tanya and Mike. Tanya does a tremendous amount of work with the uh, Trojan Gridiron Club, and she coordinates the merchandise oh, yeah. uh, tent over there. On the line. She really spends a lot of time. Dylan Herbson. Escorted by his parents, Kelly and Mark Herbson. Yeah. And his brother, Cole, right? There's the Herbson family. Great Sinsbury football family. As Pat said last game, three Herbson boys have played varsity football at Sinsbury. That's good stuff. Escorted by his parents, Kathleen and Carmelo Magnifico. And there's Cole Magnifico. Another great Simsbury sports family. Nice family out of Simsbury. Number They're all nice. Tight end, Jake Rosbatsky. Escorted by his parents, Terry and John Rosbatsky. Yeah, Jay Rue. He fought back some injuries in the early part of the season. Uh, he was in the hospital for a period of time, I believe in August, and uh, wow. he's gotten back on the field and has done a Ryan tremendous job. Defensive back, number 28, Shane Salido, escorted by his mother, Randy Salido. And now for your Trojan captain. All Number right. seven, wide receiver and defensive back, Captain Alex Haggerty, escorted by his parents, Captain Carney and Stephen Haggerty. Yeah, Hags. They get some nice plaques with a picture on it, it looks like. Yeah, 
Yep, that was uh, designed and, and orchestrated by none other than Craig Aaron. Oh, okay. That's what he did last year for the senior boys basketball. Oh, I see. Yeah, same thing. They look nice. Yeah, Georgie. Yeah, it's a nice touch, Brian. Yeah. It's the exact uh, same piece. Very nice. And Craig Aaron's, just to give a shout out to my buddy Craig, just tireless worker for all the sports programs at Simsbury. Just does an amazing job. Yeah, the RV today, I see. Oh, yeah. Sean Penny, escorted by his parents, Angela and Keith Penny. Sean Penny having a great season this yeah. year, Troy. Just just a bull. Great just runner. tough as nails. And just and all these guys are having great years. George Mateo started doing hit kicking the PATs. He was third man deep. Two injuries prior to him. Number He's one, making 89, 90% of them. Captain Riley Shetley. Right, Riley's had a great year. Yeah, Riley's had a good year. Can really pass and run. I've been calling him Air Shanley. He loves to throw that ball. They, we pass over 20 times a game. Yeah, typically. it's it's a it's a you know big change from the oh, yeah. old uh, uh, what they call that thing, Troy. Uh, I'll think of it. On the line, your captain Jasper Stone. Yeah, Jay Stone. Mary and Dubar Stone. Another great football family here at Simsbury Wrestling Family. Uh, Newbar Stone, Jasper's dad, is the president of the Gridiron Club this year. Has done a, a, tre a tremendous job. That was an option. It was an option offense with three yeah. running backs yep. in the back uh, and the quarterback sides. Say that again? Wing T. Yes. Which is 90% run. Uh, so Maybe Coach offense. Masters, really, that's one of the big changes. There's Pat getting you a good look at all the senior cheerleaders, band members, and players. Yeah, there's the Aarons right there. Albrero. Alberio. There's Neil. It's Tyler Clark. Good look at Nassan. Big Nassan. There's the Dietzes. There's Dylan Farachi, his family. You got the Googs there. You got the Hermson clan, Manjafico, there the Manjos. There's Rude, the Jackie Rude, ja Jakey Rude family. And then Shane Salito right there. There's Hags, number seven, Alex Haggerty, one of my favorites. Got George Mateo, the Mateo clan. Shawnee Penny, his family. And Captain Riley Shanley along there with uh, Jasper Stone. Good look, PMAC. Nice rundown. Big crew. Big crew. A lot different in basketball when you have like four or five. <laughs> Look how big Connor looks. Up. I know he's in great shape too. He's uh, wants to prep at Bridgeton Academy's on the top of his list. Is that right? Yes. For basketball or football? Football. Okay. Yep. Wow. Well, He'd like to, you know, pick a school, you know, maybe that, or you know, he, that's not his leading decision. Mm -hmm. For football, but he definitely he's he's August, you know, birthday. Yeah. And as you can relate, Troy, you're September. He he you know, he went. And so he's young. He's young. You were super young. He's young, uh, but he's big. Yeah. Yeah, he's always been big. <laughs> he's always been big. You remember that. When we go to the Hall of Fames, you know, or we go on the road to the Little League Hall of Fame or the Basketball Hall of Fame was tough finding a hat that fit him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was six years old. You're right. <laughs> true, true. Only kidding, C-Train. You know it. Don't come over to Marywood and look for me, bro. <laughs> this is one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet in the world. The whole family. If they aren't a sports family, I don't know what is. All right, so, hey folks, we're going to have, what do we got on the clock there? What's that say? 40. 40 seconds, I'll believe that when I see it. Um, I was going to say we could take a little break, or I can certainly do uh, do my read as well. So this is uh, is going to be fun. Why don't I just kick off the read while we got some quiet time here. Uh, folks, this is the second edition of the Route 44 Gridiron Classic. Started last year, was right here in Avon, with Avon taking home the Woodcar football trophy that's right next to us, fellas, huh? B, did it's you a see beauty. that thing? Yeah, it's a good-looking trophy. Yeah, it's made out of wood, coated with uh, some type of certain solution. Hey, Mike, who made that trophy, Micah? Uh, it, was, it was 
Dave Holzman in the industrial arts department carved that by hand and finished it off. P Mac, get a look at that thing down there, can you? We'd like to welcome Tango right. Johnny. No worries. No worries. Right. Yeah. The war for 44. Welcome once again to the Valley Bit Iron Classic. What do you need? What? Can I grab that shirt you guys are against yeah. the Avon Falcons. Well, Folks, as I said, this is game 10 of a 10-game schedule. It's our sixth home game. Avon is technically the home team, but they just don't have the facilities at Avon because they don't have lights. Uh, and the size of the crowd, really, they just couldn't quite facilitate this one. So we're here. for the good sixth. for us. Yeah, that's what I said, Brian. They're, they're, they're working through the, the, the appropriations. The paper, yeah. yeah. Uh, Trojans are coached by uh, uh, Dave Masters in his second year here at Simsbury. After many seasons, the top assistant to Jeff Osborne, who does the clock, uh, the scoreboard here in the booth with us. And he's helped us out a lot with some insight and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. There's a look at the captains. Jasper, Alex. Superbury High School captains, Jasper Stone. Alex Haggerty, Riley Shanley, George Mateo, and Sean Penny. But Shanley went to number and one Avon, today? Tommy Donovan. Oh, he's always Leon, been one. Asbury I'm sorry. Jr., Max Pritikos, so used to him being Pagatis, three in football and basketball, and he switched. My bad. <laughs> Jasper, Alex, Riley, George, and Shawnee right out there. So just to finish up, guys, Troy, here's a good little recap of the season. Check this out. Yeah. Trojan started with four losses, three at home. Then they took a beat down, 56-7 to seven from Southington. Uh, of the Taking out Southington, the other three losses were decided by a total of 24 points, 19-4-1. Wow. The next four games, the Trojans rattled off four yeah, wins in a row. Three of them on the road. Two what I've called sig signature wins were at New Britain and at Connor. Two big wins. Their last game yep, was here uh, a week ago Friday on the 11th against Glastonbury. Exciting game. We led to the last two minutes and 35 seconds. And uh, Glastonbury scored to win 26-21. It was kind of a heartbreaker, but you know what? It was an exciting, fun game. Against a good team. Against a very good team, yeah. right? Thank you. And all I'll say is this coming off a 1-9 and nine record last year and then four losses in a row, these guys could have hung oh, their yeah. heads big time. But they didn't. Finish off the season very strong. Thank yeah. you. Exactly. And a big opportunity tonight to finish it off with a win. And go to 5-5, five and five, Troy. Oh, that'd be awesome. So that's a nice little recap, T-Roy, of the season. And, and Avon's had a little bit of a down year, haven't they? Do you know their She's record? She's right. Probably they're one and nine. Yeah, I thought they were. They're yeah. one and nine. B. They they beat Plainville last week, uh, twenty-seven to six. Just take an eyeball. Um, yeah. And Plainville had not won. Had, was zero and nine. Oh, so, yeah, this is a new uh, head coach. Is it Sal? Sal? Uh, Tanner? Yeah, Centurino or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm sorry, Coach. Where are you? Yeah, he's on here. Sal Cintorino. Yeah. Cintorino, yeah. it's his first year. Mm -hmm. So the other coach, uh, you know, left after uh, the season gentlemen. last year. At this time, I ask you to please rise to your feet and remove your hats. And I direct your attention to the southeast corner of the field for the raising of our colors and the singing of the national anthem by junior Tim Amaral. He's fantastic. Is that right? Is he right here? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight 
For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Oh. Wonderful rendition. Could you, uh, I didn't catch his name. I was Tim something. I didn't catch his name. Okay, I'm sorry. Great job, Tim. So, yeah, Avon only got blown up by in one game, it looks like. Is that right, yeah, B? So they, they fairly, fairly close. Okay, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I know East Catholic is good. Pretty they, close. Berlin, game. Yeah, seven, Berlin. Yeah, really 42 good. to 7. Yeah. Berlin beat New Britain last week, I think. Rocky Hill beat them 49-15, their first game. Oh, yeah. No, then you're right. Then they, then, uh, guys, they're in the CCC Division Three, which is the smallest of the three classes in the CCC. Simsbury naturally is Division One. Um, I didn't think there was that much. I thought they'd be a Division Two. I thought. I was surprised they're, they're Division Three. They play schools like uh, Rocky Hill, East Catholic, Talon, Ram, Bloomfield, Berlin, Northwest, Northwest Catholic, Plainville, and Rockville. We're the biggest school on their schedule by far. Oh, yeah. Donovan takes the ball. A missed tackle there. And we're off. He's down at the 23-yard line. So Troy, like you said, we'll get those we'll get those skill guys from Avon. If you want to write them, or I'll I'll, I'll uh, let's see the QB. So there goes the Simsbury defense, led by a uh, captain uh, Jasper Stone, number seventy six, a uh, Sean Penny out there too, another captain Riley Shanley, a uh, Shanley Penny, Jackson King are the linebackers. And I'm sorry, Georgia Mateo is a linebacker also. Then we got Ralph Gilliard, all, all league receiver, number 13 over there. Cole Mangifico, number 26, uh, nice defensive back. And there's Neil Arango, number 24. So here goes Avon, tight formation to get started. Well, wow, that's an interesting. One, one receiver out to the right, nobody to the left. Tackled in the backfield there. So Dylan Burgos, Spurgis is the quarterback. Hey, Brian, I, I'm liking those white unis versus the gray uh, yeah. ones. I just realized I that. knew they looked a little bigger, faster, and stronger. Again, just one wide receiver. Hand off to a fullback. Oh, just gang tackled by a bunch yeah. of white jerseys. Oh, nothing again. Avon offensive line not getting much push at all. Since very D lines right in there. Yeah. Both these first two runs. Yeah, our D line has been real good this year, and the O line's also stepped it up. Troy, we've in the last uh, five games we've scored 172 points. It's a 34-point average. On the other side of the ball, we've given up 87 the last five games. We're only 17 per. So both sides of the ball, the last five games, playing so much Looking better. Looking to put it up here. Like good pass. Oh, oh almost picked Great off. Play. He closed at 26. 26. Yeah. I think he got a hand on it. Cole Manjafico. Cole, yeah. yeah. Coming up from the safety spot to make a nice play on the ball. Because it looked like it was going to be reception there. Yeah, it was a nice little play by Avon rolling the quarterback out to his left. After three tight runs, you know? Yeah. yeah. 
pull him out on a bootleg, try and hit one across the middle, but a good play by Cincinnati's defense. All right, we got Sean Penny back to return to Avon punt. Going to be tight, cold, tough catching that ball. Oh! Wow. Exactly what you Bumble. said. Oh, that could be a, oh, he, he got it, it off, off, but it's going to be short. Might be a good bounce. He got yeah. a great oh. bounce. Oh, Considering. huge. Yeah. Great play by their punter. Great play by their punter. Boy, that could have been. Well, like you said, it's gonna, that might be a theme tonight's game. Yeah. Holding on to the ball. Yeah, cold hands. Cold hands, cold ball. You got it, Oz. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, right. That could have, Oz, that could have been a 10, you know? That's the dangerous part about that. Something you get to hit the kicker. There was a flag for something. Illegal. Legal procedure. Declined. Number five, David Gondek. That seems where he starts in Avon's territory in their first possession. Yeah, that's good. Good point, T. Roy. Nice three wide receiver set. Shotgun. Ah, that's a nice breeze, isn't it, Pat? <laughs> All right. Shotgun, yeah. Riley Shanley takes a snap, hands off to Penny, up to middle, oh, breaks it, breaks it up the middle, oh, he's gone. Wow. 48 yards, first play of the game. <laughs> oh, man. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh. Sean Petty takes a shine. Riley Shaley. It was a low step, low too. Snap. Wow, boys. Can't and beat that. Simsbury jumps out to a big Simple run. Simple one play out the middle, but the O-line blocked it so well. They're, they're up on the second level. There's nobody back for Avon. Yeah. Once he broke that first level, he was gone. Wow. I didn't watch the line, Troy. I was looking at Sean. There's George Mateo. Oh, no good. Short, short to the right. Was it short and right? It was a yeah. bad snap, though. The yeah. Holder yeah. had a field it on the ground. At 10 minutes and 12 seconds left in the first quarter, your Simsbury Trojan six. Well, you can't With, beat uh, that start to a game. <laughs> no. A three and out. Yeah, right. yeah, right. Three and out, and then a the Jackson Butler holds for uh, a nice yeah. pickup. Yeah. Short hop. Yeah. All right, good boys. Might we see a little bit going for two after these scores after a night that's, like tonight. That's what they, Pat, Troy, even when they like miss a first PAT, they try to go for two even yeah. up. And like you said, throw in this cold, oh, you're right. They might be going for two more tonight. Kicking game's going to be tough. Good point, Troy. Good point. It's a nice breeze, isn't it, Troy? Does oh, that feel baby. good? It's like you're down in Naples. <laughs> <laughs> in Which I heard you're down there like every other week almost. Pretty much. He's going to Mexico after Christmas <laughs> to talk to Pat about that. Kick is up. Good kick. Get him. Oof. As they get the ball. He's tackled by number five, Christian Gay. And Neil. Justin Hansen, Alex, Jackson, King, Kitchen, Sixty-five picking Christian Gay. It's Jackson. Nice. Jackson. All right, Jackson. awesome. Jackson. He's a Jackson. jack of all trades. Sorry. <laughs> That's a new kicker, Jackson King. Did he kick the extra point? That's a good point. I don't know. I don't think. No, that was, was George. George. Yeah, I think um, the kickoff. The kickoff. Yeah. yeah. She was. She thought uh, maybe I was right. Doing yeah. I think she probably looked at us both and wanted to go talk to probably the better looking of the two guys. So she came up to me. No offense to Michael Hunter, but <laughs> if I were her, I'd come talk to me too. <laughs> Asbury gets the ball. Jackson King's sister, I believe. All right. Let's see what Avon's got up their sleeves here, T-Roy. I know you love Avon from your old Little League days. You have a real fond place in your heart for Avon. No, no wide receivers. Number 32 there. Oh, good play. Yeah, they don't Leon Asbury, Jr. 
senior. Actually, the ball, he kind of goes to run with by number 17, Sean no Kenny. receivers. That's a pretty good clue. Yeah. yeah. As Brian's been saying, they're just really putting one. Yeah, they had none, none that play. Jeez. I mean, they still could hit a Let's guy third, out of the backfield. Third and field. seven here. With they, weird. Got, they got two split left here. Third On third, they usually pass. See if they run another bootleg like they did last time. Dropping back to pass. He's open. Nice oh, catch. Oh, good pass and catch. The pass is out. Cole Manchafico. Yeah. That's a first down for the Falcons. Very nice Cole pass. Manchifico. That reception is good for our Falcons. First down. Tuesday night here, right before Thanksgiving. Last year it was a Friday before Thanksgiving, so we got it a little closer. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is nice. nice. A lot a nice of teams tradition. play on Thanksgiving yeah. Day. I'm surprised, Bri, how many yeah. do. This is better. This is much, <laughs> Troy, this is, is better, much better. 10 o'clock Are you something. kidding? Yeah, that's what they do. Oh. Oh, nice oh, he break. broke it. He broke it. Oh, what a great move. That's Leon Asbury, Jr. Wow. That's a nice little counter. That was a nice little counter. They brought the fullback through the hole. To clear some uh, space. Yeah, it yeah, was. it was. I thought it was going to be a Sean Penny or something. Ralph Hilliard. Okay, got to shut him down now. That's for sure. They're in tight again. Uh, oh, there's a little confusion in the backfield for me. Yeah, he stopped kind of. Somebody didn't know which way the play was the going. Runner. The Trojans aren't fooled there. George Mateo. <laughs> Cole Hermson on the tackle. Cool. <laughs> Block below the knees or something, I don't know. Penalty on the field is a shot block. Okay. <laughs> That's Riley Shanley's dad. We graduated high school together, and Mark Demarski, the manager's dad. We were buddies back roaming the halls in the 70s, T-Roy. <laughs> Penalty on the play. Quarterback draw. Wow. Wow. Got all the penalty yards yeah. back on that play. Yes, he did. Right about at where well, that run was. Picked up 15. He's brought down by 52, Cole Herbson. Down to the Sensory 35. Second and 10. With that play, they move the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. Second down. The D all rushed up the field. Nobody stayed in the middle, and the quarterback saw the opening. He was ready to run. Good, good workout. Here's an interesting lineup. You got hand it back, fakes it there. Going across the middle. Ooh. Oh, oh. Sean Penny almost had uh, that. Brings a third down. And what about ten. ten? That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Thought that looked like Julian Edelman coming across the <laughs> reverse. A little jet sweep action. Some good motion of, to Avon's offense. They are always yeah. trying to throw somebody through, trying to throw off a little misdirection. True, and, and different lineups, setups. A lot of different formations, yeah. yeah. The middle. Okay. Stopped by the team. Feedback, what would be stopping us from closing that during, you know, during that game? <laughs> well, I mean, they cut, <laughs> they cut, because that air is just coming in from here, Troy. It's like, that's why Pat has that, he's smarting out a hood. 
They're going to go for it on fourth here. Fourth down territory yeah. for sure, yeah. high school football. Fourth and nine. Got a man deep. Knock it down. Yeah, knock it down. Yeah. Right. Good coverage by a deep safety on that one. Falls incomplete. Turnover on down. 34 degrees, fellas, but feels like 27 balmy degrees is what it is. I just checked on my weather app. It feels like 27. Yeah, that wind's picked up a little. Ooh. Oh no, look at this. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I got a hood too. I oh, I just put my hoodie on. I my, read the hood. My Simsbury Trojan issued hoodie. All right, don't call it a hoodie offense. for nothing. Here we go. Penny again? Oh no. Who is that? Number 12. 12? Number 12? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the ball carrier. Raphael. Oh, Raphael. Raphael's back. He's been injured all season. Look at the yeah. hurry up. The hurry up offense. Hello, hello. Great to yeah. see Raphael Nev Nev Nieves out there. Is that him again? Same play. He's only a junior. Had a great year as a sophomore last year. Yeah, so dude, great to see call. Ralph out there. Number 12. 5'9", Not. I'm sorry, Ralph's 5'10", 1... Wow, 180. Wow, he's put on some weight soon last year. Shanley up the middle. There you go. Just it short. Takes, it takes the give. About a yard short of the first. Third down in a short two. I think they're gonna run this one right to the middle. Yeah, I agree. Penny. Sean Penny on the outside cuts, cuts in, back. gets the first. And yeah. carries about three guys. Oh, kept driving for five more. Unbelievable. Penny gets outside the tackles. He was and hurt last year, Troy. Punches. And he's come first back down. just yeah, in abundance. He's had a good vision to just cut that one upfield, get the first down, not try to bounce it outside too much. More conservative. Yeah. Eat clock. That's the lineup they've got. Shanley keeps it. Nice. He gets five six. Riley Shanley on the keeper. So Troy, number thirteen, Ralph Gilliard, right here. He's a junior. He was all league receiver last year. I believe, Bry, according to what we heard, I still would like to see it documented, is he broke the all-time career touchdown receptions or just receptions. I forget what it yeah. was. Oz might know. Not sure how he did that in a year and a half, but that's what they're telling me. Yeah, it must have been just total uh, receptions. Just receptions. Career. Yeah. Career receptions. That's what it was. Yeah. 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 There's Connor Aarons. They run a lot of the plays in through Connor from the sideline. There's Connor lined up right in that full box spot. Go around the other side. Avon were not fooled at all. All right. Yeah. We're kind of in fourth down territory here. I think so, bro. Penny gets the call. He's pushed back for a loss. First negative play of the game for, True. for the Trojans. Fourth down, Trojans. So we got fourth and two, it looks like. Is that fourth and five. Fourth and three yard loss. Five. Oz has got fourth and two on the board. It, it was two. All right. No worries. 
Just making me look bad. Shanley looks. Oh, 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 was he open? Ralphie was open wide. We think. All right, well, there's a turnover on downs. Back to the Falcons from Avon. Just about two minutes left in the first quarter. Sixth zip here at the second edition of the Route 44 Gridiron Classic. Nice little rivalry with our border. Yeah, we're hoping to reclaim the trophy. Yes. Or it'll be our first time with it. That's right, B. We want that trophy staying here. Play action. Oh. Good throw. Did he hold on to that? No. Yeah, he, he did. Was. He did catch it. Burgos' pass is out to number 43. That was a great throw. Yeah, that was, was a, a bullet. Good. Yeah, for Good arm. Good arm, Bur Burgos. Burgos. Gainos, eight yards on the play. Let's go, Steve! Second and two, Falcon. That play hasn't worked too well. Yeah, yeah, up the middle. So, guys, don't you think? You no, know, it's easy to say now, but probably a low-scoring game tonight. You would think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You still think it could? After that first play, I thought it might be a high. <laughs> <laughs> On the second down, stop. <laughs> well, I was definitely. thinking 35 points. Yeah, yeah. Falcon. I don't think so. Big third down here. In motion. Oh. Wow. First down. Here he goes. Hands off to Ashbury. Gets it out to the, about the midfield area. He's tackled by number 13. Do you think Avon had a larger crowd last year? Hmm. Let's see. That really is good for a Falcon. Jeez, Brian, that's a pretty nice crowd. Yeah. yeah it's pretty full over there. I don't recall, but I, I I don't know if they had any more than that. Okay, that's a nice, good point, Brian. Nice Avon uh, following across the field there. You can see him right now, folks. Avon, our friends from Avon, representing well. Asbury gets the ball again. Number fifty-two, Cole Hermsen, in on the tackle. Avon came into the CCC Troy last year. There's a 30, there, they became the 33rd team in the CCC. So what it made things uneven, so they had to realign. Mm. And uh, it, it's been getting some getting used to. It used to be east, west, north, south. Right. Now it's uh, central, north, and, and south. And then there's two divisions inside each of those conferences. So that's the end of the first quarter. Simsbury on top, six zip. With that Sean Penny touchdown that Brian just alluded to to start the game. Avon with the ball right out there, midfield. Since the first drive, Avon's moved the ball a little bit better. They, they have. went three and out on that first one, but ever since, they've gotten a little, little momentum going. Without it, definitely. Working a little bit more passing. I don't, from yeah. what we've seen so far, those inside runs, since very D line has been closing those down. Pretty much. It's when the quarterbacks have made a couple of nice throws down the field. It's gotten Avon's offense moving. That's it. Open things up a little yeah. bit. Got to honor that throw, and that helps the run. All right, here we go. P. Mac McCarthy, cameraman of Stradares, got you right in on the action there at midfield. There's it. Yep, again, right up the middle. Second down, Ashley gets the call. And he's fed at the line hard by number 52, Cole Maniapico. And this is the last game for the Avon seniors, too. So we hope they all have a good game, stay Get healthy. Back. Cole Hermsen. 
Cole Hermson on the tackle. Third and six. See if they throw it here. We'll stick with the run. Burgess goes hands off. Oh, good oh, great Several run. tackles to make that first Asbury down. Asbury is their money guy. I remember he was good last year. Is that right, bro? Yeah. He's a senior. I remember that guy, Teddy O, that he's at UConn as a walk-on He made the UConn, yeah. yeah. He's a real good. Dr. Dr. Dan Girardi in the house. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Good to Dan. see you, DG. <laughs> Best-looking Trojan gridiron guy ever, I think. <laughs> Just one of the nicest guys yeah. in the town. Dan Girardi, love him to death. All right, here we go. What do we got, first and ten? Pass, quarterback draw. Oh, baby. Good tackle. Oh, of course, Pat. Hard no one's better than looking than us, P. I was going with nice, not A nice looking? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Just nice. Oh, you, oh you're okay. Good. You're an honest so man. Nice. Speak for yourself about that good looking part. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> All right. Second and third is what Dr. Oz is showing on the board. Hands off up the, the middle, middle Ashbury. Ashbury. Stutter step. Wow, he's he tough. Runs hard. Yeah. He does. And you said, Troy, he's got some nice footwork on his Look runs, down. too. He changes direction well. Yeah. And he's been running through a few guys, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's 5'8", but he's 195. He's a little tr tr little tank. <laughs> <laughs> little bowling ball, Oz. He's had a bunch of big games. Yeah. He was good last year, too, Brian said. They're going back to him. They're going to hand off on that reverse one of these times, too. Yeah. yeah. It looks like right. he's almost, it was open. They're showing it. Yeah. They're showing it. Silly, Troy. Yeah. Silly. After a three-yard game, There's big number 65, Jackson King, in the middle nose guard there. No back set. They're in tight. They are. Look at this. Quarterback keeper to the outside. Yep, he's got blockers. Got blockers, yeah. Close Gets it down to about the down. five. And close to the first down, bro. Mm -hmm. He might have it. It sure he looks like it. To the outside. Let's see if the spot gets inside the five here. Oh, they gave it. Yep. To Moving the chain. All right, so they got four cracks, five yards for six points Possible. to the Falcons. The Falcons retain the ball. See if the defense can come it's up with a stop goal, here. Eli. Most stuff. Did they put Connor in for goal line defense? See, I don't see him. No. I'm not sure who 71 is there, but you got 65, Jackson King, number 72. There is Tim Talbot. Uh, four down linemen. Uh, so you got Jasper Stone, number 26. Uh, Georgie Mateo, number 29, lined up on the line. So is Hags. Fall back. Oh, nice uh, pile there. I don't think he got anything. Number 54, Evan Rabinowitz in there, I know, was in on that one. Number 71 is not on our roster. I'm not sure who that is, unless it's, uh, I don't have a 71. Oh, well, I feel bad. Probably know who it is, too. All right. No gain on that one. Yep. Fourth and go. Second and goal. Second. Oz is really falling asleep at the <laughs> switch over there. Oh, Burgos. Uh, he's, in. he's in. He's in. Yeah. Good hard run. Burgos gets outside the tackles. And he pushes it himself for a Falcons touchdown. That was a good drive by Avon. Yep. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very good. The whole time. Asbury drops yeah, one in. switch. Oh. 
see how this kick goes. The hold and the kick have been tough tonight. It's cold weather. High snap. Ooh, high oh, fake. it's a fake. Got him. Oh. Got him. Oh, oh he got him. stuck. That was interesting. Was that the player or did the bad snap? And he just, yeah, you I think, think that was a, a bad snap? That's what I think. He, he made just, a quick decision. He just uh, aborted quickly. Yeah, number three, Tommy Donovan. The score is tied. Frozen six. I don't think it was either. No, nah, you're right, Pat. He couldn't no get it down. Out, no one went out on a pattern. No. The kicker Although the, the, the kicker did. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that might have been an option there, but it's probably, probably just spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, Best snap flare out. Yeah. Well, that ties it up, folks. Six yeah. six. We got a ball game. We got a ball game, dude. I trade text messages with Coach Masters before games a little bit, and he is so superstitious. I have to, you have to be very careful what you say, don't. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't want to. He makes no assumptions, you know. Oh, sure. And uh, yeah, you can't. Great guy, Coach Dave Masters, one of my favorite guys. This is going to be a close game. It's going to be a close game. It sure looks that way right now, Bri. 6-6 six, six with 7 minutes and 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, Squib Squibby. kicky. Got some room. Ralph Gilliard. Oh. Uh, yeah, Big G. Midfield. Almost broke it. I think it was the kicker that got him on it. A little excitement oh, yeah. for Simsbury fans here out strong tonight. It really filled up quick, didn't it? Look at that. Big field. crowd out in Trojanville here yeah. tonight. Since Ray needed that after Avon's long, yeah. sustained that drive. Long. That was a long, sustained Punishing that drive. Long that was a long Kyle-like classic, PMAC. Lonnie K, another gridiron club alum. Yep. Christian Kyle-like. Penny. Penny bounce. gets it out wide. Oh, Penny, oh, for your Penny thoughts. And he's oh. still on his feet. Oh. Wow, what a run. Sean Penny. Like you said, Brian, he's just always moving those yeah. legs, driving. Sixteen yard pickup. Yeah. It looked like more than that for some reason. But you get, you get the handoff five yards deep. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Is that Dave Herschel there, Roger, on the side? No, right here with the brown quarters. Oh, fumble. Oh, fumble. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is that him yeah. right in front of the Gatorade? Yes. It seems to be a fumbled snap. There's a flag on the field. I think he might have borrowed those quarters from Kirk Godison. <laughs> <laughs> brown pants. <laughs> I haven't seen Sean. Uh, he doesn't go out. Sean Penny doesn't go out to catch the ball too often, does he? They don't throw to Shawnee that much. Ralph Gilliard in motion. Penny, hands off to can Penny. Can he get outside? No. Tries to cut Ooh. back. Ooh, good pursuit Ooh. by Yvonne D. That's for sure. Lost Gang a couple. Mark Penny gets to the outside. Have we thrown tonight, gentlemen? I don't, I don't recall think one. Had a pass uh, attempt, and we were talking about how many yeah. times we throw for yeah. a game. I think uh, not till now. P Mac, good Aaron's pull that slide. thing back. Here we go. There's Aaron's. Oh, oh, a little high for Butler. Yep. Jenny's pass out the flat, intended for number ten. Jackson Butler. So fourth do. down, guys. Punt it or go for it. I we think got they're him. fourth down. To, well, really? Not on fourth and 12. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to kick it. Pin them down a little. Here comes number five. Is that Christian Gay to kick? Number 62. 
Good punt. Don't Bounce go too back. deep. Oh, a little too good. Uh, good try. It was a nice punt, though. So that's ja is that Jackson now? The wearing number six. Jackson King wearing number sixty-two. Oh, that's Googs. Okay, that's right. I'm sorry. They changed him. Nick Gugliotti. I'm sorry. I had that written. And sorry. King is sixty-five. Oh yeah. Which is what we have. Yep. All right. Well, it's been a pretty fast half. We got a lot of passing. Yeah. Yeah. With five minutes and 35 seconds left in the half. The score is tied at six. Southern's out of my turkey after this. Falcons take over first attack. I needed to know that, Oz. I really had been thinking when you were going to do that. <laughs> Fake. Ooh. Haven't seen our illustrious athletic director, Jeff Penny, tonight. He's probably running around like crazy. The hot fire. He probably put that out or something. Yeah. <laughs> you see that thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Over. Second and nine, Falcon. I just received a text message from one Wallace Pip. Wallace. <laughs> Wallace. Call Pip. me Wally Pip. Oh, he does run hard, that kid. He sure does. That was nice blocking by that old line from Avon. Created a nice hole. Where's they going, Pmac? Nine is out there. Oh, oh. kind of surprising us a little yeah, bit. The big first down pass. Number nine, wide receiver Avon. Number twenty-four, Neil Arango, back in deep coverage. That leaves second down and 10 for the Falcons. I think they're going to go to the air again. Screen. Oh, no blockers out front. Uh, Virgo tries to dump the screen off to Asbury. That play took a little bit too long to develop. Yeah. A couple fakes maybe that weren't necessary. Their all line was already five yards downfield. All right, big third down. It is. Third and ten. Well, let's get it back and see if we can do something. Yeah, before halftime, four right. minutes left in the first half. Oh, good pressure. Oh. Good play by 24. Neil Arango. Arango, formerly Neil Alexander. Yeah. That ball was there, but he made a good play on the ball. Knocked it loose. The, yeah, that was, that was a nice throw. That was right that on was the money. Right there. All right, so that leaves fourth down. They're, they got a punt, right? They're yep. going to have to. After the third down stop. Falcons come out punt formation. Punter trying to warm up his hands. He's got gloves on. Number 17, Sean Penny. Shawnee P back to receive. As you can see, the hamburger smoke waffling across the sky there. Nice he's kick. Oh, he's going to try and bring it back. Oh. Whoa. Nice tackle. Right on oh. it. 
Wow. Here comes a flag. So unnecessary. I see laundry. laundry he tried to kick him or something? He just pushed him down. Yeah, he just the ball. I think it was, too. I don't think he did it on purpose. Yeah, I didn't think he really? just got up and it hit him. Yeah, I don't think he, I think he did was it on excited purpose about that either. play. But yeah. They're going to wave it off, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, it definitely looked bad, but. Yeah. Oh. Unintentional? Yeah. I think you're right. He just jumped up so fast that he, he hit Sean trying to get up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that's what the refs thought. They talked about it, and that's maybe, good. Maybe just pump up Sinjari's offense a little bit here. Thank you. Alex Haggerty wind, lined up right. Maybe we'll have a fire or left. a little. Yeah. Shanley holds. Good first down run. They've contained our offense except for one play. Yeah, I know. We haven't really had any big gains. Three and a half on the clock. Remaining in the second. Butler left, Haggerty right, Gilliard right. Another run. Break it, oh, Sean. Oh, nice oh, move, yeah. Sean. Oh, great run by Sean Penny. First down and then some into the Falcon territory. Back, pull it. Would you can you scoot that back just a smidge? I'd like to see some how these receivers. I think we're gonna see the ball go in the air here, if not here, very soon. Penny to the left. Oh. Ooh, face mask, or yeah, I think he, that's why he got yanked back. I yeah, think. I don't know. Flags down, a holding. Oh, baby, oh boy. It's a holding call against the Trojans. Mm. Ooh, big call. That is a big call. Might force Little us to go to the air the here. Yeah, th we're going to have to see some air Shanley here. Ten yards. It's going to make it first. Okay, look and for Ralph or Hags here. First and 20. Butler. First and 20. Butler's on this side. First and 19. That's what Oz says. Yeah, I'm not trusting that board anymore. <laughs> There's there. Butler. Oh, screen. Uh, oh, screen to Penny. There's the screen we looked for. Ah, uh, that's too bad because that was set up nicely by the O line. Yeah. Except Avon D tackle is the only one who stayed home, and he was enough to disrupt that screen pass. Might have gotten a yard, or maybe not. Not quite. Nah. He got one. So, No, not at all. Second and 18. Playing a zone, zone Ooh, coverage. Ooh, Shanley oh. sacked. Oh, he's getting out. No, that's another loss. I think the zone coverage. Avon's fired up. I was just going to say yeah. that, Brad. You hear yeah. that? Yeah. Avon fans and team all fired up. They'd love to go in the locker room tied 6-6. Six, six. Sure. Letting the clock roll. 140 and counting. No, no reason for Cincinnati to rush here and get the no, ball back. No, no, give it back to him. I'd say put, keep this one on the ground. Do mm -hmm. you think so? Oh, they're gonna go for it. Deep ball, deep corner out. Oh! Good coverage, Feeman. Good ball to the wide side. Very close. Ralph almost came down with it. Yeah. Shanley Good threw defense. it right in his he vicinity. Chance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a nice pass. It was. Great defense. He hit him just at the right time. It was good D. Yeah. Yeah, he got some time, Oz. But now Davon gets the ball back with about a minute and change. I don't see him doing anything. Yeah, yeah, happy to yeah be tied. That's what I said, Oz. They'll be happy to go in the locker room tied 6-6. Oh, six, six. we needed that punt. Shanker. 
I know. You're right. You're right. I said throw all the records out that last game of the season. That's a good point. Uh, all right. So a minute and, what, 16, 18, right around there. 16. Yeah. They're on 45, Avon. Okay. This one. Do you think they're just going to hand off to Asbury? Yeah, I'd say at first, see what he can do on first down run. If he can get 10, 15, big chunk, maybe yeah. they go for something. And Avon's holding three timeouts. Yeah. Sinsbury can stuff him early. And then they might just they might let just it. Concede yeah, and head exactly. into the locker room. You got it, Troy. I was thinking the same thing. They're going to need this. Oh, Ooh, flips it to Asbury. Stays in bounds. No, Good oh. point. He just got pushed yeah. out there. Uh, finally pushed out of bounds. His teammates helping him. Well, they're fired up over there, Avon. This would make their season. Oh, sure. Yeah. To win their last two and beat us. All timeout. That the one that door opens, it just. It makes it real bad. I don't know why they left the door open, but whew. it's like the Alaskan tundra up here. Yeah. Fifty five. The refs ruled them out of bounds, or if Avon burned a timeout here. I see. I think they might put us. Ten seconds. He must have been out of bounds because the clock kept running. Ten more seconds yeah. on the clock. The officials didn't make any signs yeah. that he was out of bounds, but on the far sideline. Second down. Two to go. For the so they added time back. There's a minute nine left. Second down. About three to go for first. Right in your living room. Back to pass is Borges. Pick Inter up. Oh! oh. Magnifico. Cole Hermson wow. put good pressure on the quarterback, forced that throw out oh, yeah. early. He was in the backfield. He chucked the one deep. Looks like they might throw again. Be ready, P Mac. They need a first down, though. Quick three step drop and a draw. Oh, great tackle there. Jasper Stone on the yeah. ankle grabber. Just kept him short by a yard. That was a big play. Yards. That was a big play. He might have be still running if he didn't grab him. Now they burned a T.O. 47 seconds left. Hey, Josh, would you be favorite? Can you close that door? If that's all right. It gets so cold with that door open. <laughs> it makes a big difference. Thank you. <laughs> ah, much better. It's about five degrees yeah, is colder. Is he no, new Troy the Trojan? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him before. Let's get him. Let's get the new Trojan P back. Shout out to the scoops of the Trojan wall. Interesting timeout called by Avon there. <laughs> On fourth down, they called the timeout. Yeah. Let's see what they're going to do. True. They're not punting. Here we go. Maybe Some a trickery. Hard count, a little hard count. I can't imagine them doing that in high school. Oh, Almost. drops it. And that's why you don't. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That was a weird timeout, Troy. With 33 ticks left in the first half, 
The Trojan offense comes back out on the field for one more crack at it. So is he going to throw some bombs? I think so. Yeah, PMAC, pull that thing way back. I want to see uh, the whole thing. Uh, good. Ah, Three timeouts. Good. Three timeouts. So here's hey. Ralph right in front of us. Haggerty, Aarons, Butler right there. Ten is Butler, Jackson Butler, sophomore, number 13. Two deep safety. Ralph Gilliard, two deep safety. Yeah, very deep. He gives it to Penny. Cuts up the middle. Oh, there he goes. On the outside. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Get out, get out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a late hit. Late hit. That's a flag. That's going to be a 15-yard penalty on top of it. Wow. Sean Penny was oh, five Penny feet out of bounds, and he got hammered. That'll have to distance. Mask. Half the distance to the oh, face mask? Yeah. So it looks like that's a face mask call on the Falcons. Down to about the five? So we have to distance. Ten yard face mask. Yeah. Wow. What a run. What a beautiful run. Thought we were done before <laughs> half. First down at the ten yard line. We might get points here, T Roy. Did Georgie Mateo kick like a 35-yarder, 34-yarder? Here we go. We're going to get six here. Yeah, we're going to stuff in the end zone. Another handoff. Sean. Feed him the ball. Oh. Well, timeout, timeout, timeout. Hasn't called it yet. There it is. All right, Coach Masties. Coach Masties goes to his bag of tricks here. Second and five on the five. Six, six is the score. What about 24 seconds 24, left? Yep. Two timeouts for the five. Trojans. Plenty of time. Plenty of Trojans. time. It's hard not just to give it to Sean Penny again. I know. And then get a T.O. You could maybe get him one more, and then you got to throw. They might have two run plays in them. Yeah, it's nice to have those timeouts. Two timeouts. Two timeouts. And, and I'd be curious to see what, if it got to a fourth down, if they would kick, try, or, yeah. kick it or try and go for right, six. Right, right, right. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be a huge decision, they, actually. I have a feeling they'd go for six. I think so, too. Riley Shantley brings the yeah. offense to the line. Four wide. I think you're right, bro. Here we go, Paymac. Aaron. Get us the action. Aaron's one on one on the outside. Butler there. in motion gives it to Shawnee P. He punches his way down to the oh, one. T O T O T O. Powers through for a gain of four yards. Oh, he's right on that goal line. To the Trojans. I think we're going to see the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree, bro. 16 seconds. Yeah, I said it's, it was a weird minute, last minute and a yeah. half. Very odd last one yeah. minute. You thought, you know, we were done, and then we gave it back. We thought they'd be done. they give it back, and look at this. We're going to come out of this perhaps with six points. Man, we have, yeah. that's right, PMAC. We get the ball first in the second half. So, Two for one action. Yeah. Big turnaround here for the Falcons. We got to take it in now. Here we go. Full back dive. He's in there. Yeah. They brought in Jackson Masters for that one. He handed off to yeah. Shan Leanne. Uh, Penny in the background. Yeah, in the like block, probably. Yeah. Gently to Penny. Yeah, that is Jackson. Yeah, number 16, coach's son, Jackson. They're going to go for two, probably. You're right, B. Jackson's still in there. Yep, yeah, Jackson's still in there. So that gives uh, Shanley and Penny in the backfield. Yeah. There's Jackson Max just takes flips it to 
to Shanley. PMAC, that's the play we saw the yeah, against Glastonbury, the where Jackson came in and flips it to Shanley. Yes, well, that should do it. So, boys and girls, yeah. fans of all ages, it's 12 to 6 heading into the halftime. Channel 95, SCTV, bringing you the action. We got 13 seconds. We're going to. Uh, yeah, he got to kick off. Oh, not done? Got to kick off. off. Yeah, okay. Coach is getting off, getting off the roof deck there, heading into the locker room where it's nice and warm. We stay out here and freeze our <laughs> personals off. Personals. Woo! I want to have to take a look at the temperature. I bet you we're close to 30 maybe right now. It feels like about 25. Luckily, no wind until they Not open right that now, door. Yeah. And there's the boot, Jackson King. Short kick. Clock's running. Okay. All righty then. One play. With four seconds to go in the half, the Avon Falcons are going to get one shot at it. Just take a knee and let's get out of here. Nothing to talk about. Don't you agree? I agree. Sure. Get back to those locker rooms. Oh, yeah. They should be going to the locker room a while ago. It's 6 6. That right. timeout, maybe with the fourth down timeout, Troy, you made the comment. It was very unusual. That well. stopped the clock and gave us the ball back. Burgos rolls out. There it is. End of the half. All right. So, folks, again, as I was saying, we thank the, the folks on SCTV, Kristen and Phyllis and Karen and uh, Channel 95. Thanks for watching. It's 12 6 as we head into halftime. We'll be back to you soon. Yeah, there they are. Well, we wrap up our sixth season here, folks. Bringing you the action at Holden Field. Six years as SCTV football Trojans here on Channel 95. Brian Coombs, thank you. Tom Tansky, thank you for all your insightful play-by-play. -play. Pat McCarthy, our MVP, MVC, most valuable cameraman. PMAC, thank you. Kristen Benedict, Karen Hanbill. Roger Coombs. Roger Coombs. Absolutely. Phyllis down at the station. It was a great year. Great improvement. Five and five is Simsbury. What an improvement from one and nine. Good stuff. A lot of fun to watch this year. It really was. And it was great hanging around with you guys. It's always a blast, Tom. Thanks. We had a lot of fun. All right. Well, I think we'll sign off. Folks, I hope you enjoyed some of the games this year. Troy, thanks for coming and sitting in with us. Troy yeah, Coombs. Yeah, good to have Troy Final Coombs here. Game. That was a good one. You picked a good one to come see. Amen. All right. Good night. Thank you. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.